Hello everyone, it's the Outside World Entertainment. This is Shaker and Davy Cooking Channel. And today we'll cook a hot catfish curry, Guyana catfish. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And let's go for it. Here we at the supermarket. And we're picking up the fish and this is Guyana catfish. Look at this. Long time I didn't eat catfish. Now we are home and we cut it up in chunks. You can see that this fish is fresh. No doubt about this. Now we're gonna wash the fish. So now we're washing the catfish. Imagine getting a catfish with green mango. Here we finish washing the fish. We will seize, we'll wash it with some salt and lemon juice. Lemon juice is one of the best thing to wash fish with. It's actually wash the fish clean and it will give the fish a little bit of lemon seasoning into it. Yeah. Ash soak with lemon juice and salt for about five minutes and now i'm gonna season it for another five minutes I'm gonna start with some turmeric and um i have some seasoning that i ground up and it's just um, some shallot and thyme and some other green things with garlic and i'm going to just mix this let it season for about five to ten minutes until I'm ready to cook it. So see you in the next step. So here we have our pan and we add our cooking oil, approximately two and a half teaspoon of cooking oil. And we have to make sure that the oil is hot enough before we can add our ingredients into it. We test if the oil is hot and now in goes onions. And onion gives a very good flavor to fish curry, especially catfish. And we should give the fishermen a credit for this in Guyana that they spend days in the salt water or in the sea to catching these fish for us. In goes garlic. And we let the onion and garlic fry it up in the hot oil. The in goes tomatoes and a few um, green onions. onions. Green onions for the flavor. And these are fresh ingredients that we pick in our garden. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. And I'll cover this, just so the tomatoes soften. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, look at the beautiful color of the tomatoes. Mm. Frying in the hot oil with the onion, the garlic, and the green onion. And this is the texture I like, so when you mash it up, it becomes a nice color for the gravy. And also, I love the smell mm -hmm. of the onion, tomato, uh, garlic. Too. Have a very nice meal. Mm -hmm. Always make me hungry. You can probably eat this just like that with a spoon, uh, <laughs> like a chutney. Yeah, it, it is a chutney actually. Mm -hmm. But now we're gonna add the masala and curry powder, and it's gonna be a curry paste. Masala, curry powder. Paprika, black pepper, and as Shaker mentioned, this is a hot catfish. So here is all the chopped up habanero pepper that we're adding in. And what is the word? Chata? 
And now we're ready to cook the fish. Beautiful catfish. This is our curry paste, and now we'll put the fish into the curry paste. And this is the bungeeing part of the fish. I love catfish actually. It's a very delicious fish. Especially this one here with Diana catfish with long whiskers. The mustache. <laughs> okay, the mustache, the long mustache. <laughs> A little bit of salt. We'll cover it. And we'll be back. Alright, we're back. And it's time for some gravy. And remember when we cook the huri, we had some leftover coconut cream. Then Shaker made his own coconut cream. And that's what we're gonna add. For the gravy today. Uh, fresh coconut cream is always better than the ones that you use in the can. Mm. And the coconut cream actually gives the creamy flavor. And we're going to add green mangoes. Oh, green mangoes. Can't cook catfish without green mango. We're going to cover it up. All right, so let's take a look. Hmm. Coming along nicely. It smells so good. It smells great. Mm. Catfish curry. Haven't eaten this in a long time. Thanks to the fishermen in Guyana and the people who who export it to Canada, we get to have a taste of something from back home. And when I have a look at the catfish in the store this morning, um, it looked fresh, like it just came into the country. Mm -hmm. And actually, the huri was actually fresh too. Yeah, remember our huri video? Uh, See how black those huri were? Yeah, and don't forget, I also buy some that yellow kind of gilbaka, the Guyana gilbaka. Yeah, we'll cook that another day. And we have some nice um, butterfish also. Oh, yeah. And everything looked fresh. Wow, I taste the gravy. It has the right amount of salt. It has some nice spiciness from the house pepper. And I don't think we need to cook it anymore. The fish is nicely cooked. See, and the gravy has thickened up. And we will just I'm add a little bit of fresh garlic and onion. Some garlic that we grind up with green onion, and that will give a special flavor to the curry. Uh -huh. And now we'll add some green onion for the garnishing. And that's it. That and, also, and also, green onion gives a special flavor to the curry, especially fish curry. And you can also get fish curry. You serve with rice and also can serve with roti. And time for dinner. So as I mentioned, I went to the supermarket today. I pick up huri and I also I pick up some Guyana catfish. Look at this catfish here. This 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 is the land moustache catfish. <laughs> <laughs> and let me have a taste of this one. Cheers. This is vodka and water. Time for a taste. Here is the catfish. Get a nice piece there. Get some pepper sauce on it. And a little bit of rice.
Mm. Fresh fish in Guyana. From the time you eat it and you get a taste of it, you know that this fish is very fresh. I love Guyana fish. And this is the Outside World Entertainment, a Shaker and Davy cooking channel. Please give us a thumbs up, share our video, and please subscribe. And we will see you on our next video. Thank you very much, and you all have a nice day. Bye.